the world's first space hotel may soon be a reality and no longer science fiction. Construction of a space station in near-Earth orbit is to begin as early as 2025. Not only restaurants, but also cinemas and wellness areas are planned. The space hotel is said to be able to accommodate up to 400 guests. The space station, which is to be called Voyager, is presented in today's video. The hotel is to be put together piece by piece. In the first step, experts from the Orbital Assembly Corporation plan to build the inner spinning wheel with the help of robots in Earth orbit. Then, individual pods will be launched to attach to the outer edges of this spinning wheel. These pods will contain hotel rooms, bars, and many other spaces for various activities. Government agencies, as well as private space companies, could use the station to house their own science module or as a training center for astronauts preparing to go to Mars. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and stay tuned for many more exciting videos in the future. Comparison with the International Space Station, ISS So far, no details have been released about how much it will cost to build or stay in the space hotel. For comparison, we once used the ISS. The International Space Station is a $100 billion science and engineering laboratory located about 240 miles above and orbiting the Earth. The ISS has been constantly manned by rotating crews of astronauts and cosmonauts since late 2000. Research conducted aboard the ISS involves several unusual conditions that occur in a low Earth orbit, such as low gravity or oxygen. These technical conditions must also be met in a space hotel. Guests must not be exposed to any hazards and must be reliably supplied with oxygen. The ISS's research encompasses life sciences, physics, space medicine, meteorology, human research, and of course, astronomy. What then would be the higher purpose of a hotel orbiting the Earth? And with what justification would such a structure be constructed? Moreover, how many guests would have to visit the hotel to cover the maintenance costs? Who would come up with the wherewithal to take a vacation in space? The U.S. Space Agency, NASA, spends about $3 billion a year on the ISS program, which is only possible with the ongoing support of the President and his administration. A committee of the United States House of Representatives, which oversees NASA's work, is now considering whether the program can be extended beyond 2024. Progress in research would have to justify ongoing costs in this regard. Alternatively, the ISS could be used in the future to benefit planned flights in human space or to the Moon and Mars by being used as an intermediate station. But perhaps the Voyager station will soon offer the possibility of a stopover for astronauts before their onward flight to other planets. Thus, Voyager could still be given its due and higher purpose. There will be a series of pods attached to the outside of the rotating ring and some of these pods could be sold to NASA and ESA for space exploration. Thus, the space station would be more than just a hotel. While the hotel is the original goal of the artificial gravity space station, the company hopes to bring NASA and ESA on board. It's possible that this is exactly what would be a low-cost alternative to the International Space Station. Artificially Generated Gravity Voyager Station, developed by Orbital Assembly Corporation, could be ready to operate and receive its first guests for their stay in Earth orbit as early as 2027. The Voyager Space Station will consist of a series of rings, with a number of modules attached to the outermost rings. Its appearance will be a bit like a Ferris wheel. However, this design has a specific and important purpose. The space station will be in constant motion, spinning around itself to create an artificial gravity. This will be comparable to the gravitational pull on the moon. 
so guests won't be in complete weightlessness, but will still be able to move around with apparent ease. Rotation is important, says Blin Cow, founder of the Gateway Foundation, because it's not possible to have people on a space station for extended periods of time without gravity. And people may want to be in space for months at a time, especially if these are the hotel's employees. People need gravity to keep their bodies intact and continue to function, Blinkow said. In addition, the station will help us understand how much gravitational pull the human body needs. The rate of rotation can then be adjusted to the needs of our bodies. So, it would be possible to achieve a higher or lower gravity depending on needs. The Long History of a Space Station for Private Stay The idea of an orbiting space station built around a central circular wheel goes back to the earliest days of space travel. Werner von Braun had just such an idea. He was one of the architects of NASA's Apollo program and in the 1950s proposed a wheel-shaped habitat that rotated to create artificial gravity. The concept for Voyager Station, a similar idea but on a much larger scale, emerged in 2012 with the creation of the Gateway Foundation. Orbital Assembly Corporation, the company created by the Foundation to realize the vision of an orbital station, was formed in 2018 with the goal of being operational by 2027. When fully built, the station will be the largest man-made object ever launched into space. A cruise in space? Voyager Station's hotel offers many similarities to a cruise ship. Only this cruise ship is not in the ocean. Visitors won't get seasick either. Each of these 24 integrated living modules will be 64 feet long and 38 feet wide, and each will have a different function, from hotel rooms to movie theaters. Some of these modules will be operated by the Gateway Foundation and will be for things like crew quarters, air, water, and power. They also include a gym, kitchen, restaurant, bar, and other essential facilities for people who are on the station for longer periods of time. The other modules are leased or sold to private companies and governments. For example, people could convert one or more of the modules into a private villa. The company also plans for its station to include lounges, concert halls, and libraries. Everything you would see on a cruise ship, but this ship will travel around the world every 90 minutes. The Future of Human Spaceflight No details have yet been released on the cost of building the space station or the cost of a night in the hotel, although according to the Orbital Assembly Corporation, construction costs are getting cheaper thanks to reusable launch vehicles like the SpaceX Falcon 9 and future spacecraft. These make it much more profitable to launch large objects into orbit. The average cost of launching material into space has long been about $3,600 per pound. But due to the reusability of the Falcon 9, this dropped to just over $900 per pound. And SpaceX predicts that the construction of Starship will bring it down to a couple hundred dollars. These rockets and other future reusable spacecraft will make the station functional because they can provide regular and rapid connections between Earth and the space station. A prototype will shed light on how the Voyager station will be realized. The team consists of NASA veterans, pilots, engineers, and architects who are building a system that will include multiple pods for different purposes and a high-speed train. Initially, this team plans to test this concept with a much smaller prototype and a free-flying facility similar to the International Space Station. Once this test is complete, a robot called STAR, or Structure Truss Assembly Robot, will build the frame for Voyager in orbit. The first space structure will be a prototype 61-meter gravity ring in low Earth orbit that can spin to create gravity similar to that on Mars. This would be equivalent to about 40% of Earth's gravity. Construction will take about two years and initially will be primarily for demonstration purposes. Once the prototype is in space, it will take only three days to assemble. After the station is successfully commissioned, it would be a possibility to repurpose it as a research station. 
It will be the next industrial revolution, John Blinkow explained, also saying it will create a new industry sector. So, it's supposed to be the next big step for humanity. Building such a project is an enormous undertaking with certain risks. Not only does such an idea gobble up masses of money, but resources and manpower are also called upon on a tremendous scale. Even though flights into space are becoming cheaper and cheaper, the cost of such a trip is not affordable for most people. Would you vacation in space? Or would you prefer sandy beaches and the cool blue sea up close? If you liked our video, leave a like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.